Hello and welcome back to Friday Minis. Today, let's take a look at randomness. Now, we kind of take it for granted that our computers can generate random numbers, but if you think about it, our computers are very specifically designed machines that take in a certain input, does processing on the input, and produces an output. And in fact, because of the way computers are designed, it is in fact really hard to tell a computer to behave in an unpredictable way. And that's the whole idea behind randomness. We want to actually generate numbers that are statistically random. That, as it turns out, is surprisingly difficult. For a computer at least. Even though, if I told you to come up with a string of random numbers right now, chances are, it's not statistically random at all. So really, it's a pretty challenging task all around. So let's take a look at two common methods in which computers actually generate random numbers. The first method is called a pseudo-random number generation. Basically, you give it some amount of initial information. We normally call this information a seed. And what your computer does is it basically performs some calculations on that number to basically generate results that appear to be quite random. On some occasions, Random numbers were actually generated beforehand and stored somewhere. So when you actually run your pseudo-random number generator, it uses those values to help generate the actual random value as well. Chances are, even these algorithms will still need a seed, seeing as that, well, otherwise, you will always get the same sequence of numbers. For seeded random number generators, what we sometimes try to do is we try to make it more random by seeding it with a value that is affected by nature. A lot of the time, the value we use is actually the current date and time. We represent this as milliseconds from a specific date, which normally is sometime in 1970. Now this is pretty good because, well, we get a seed that is based on a value that is pretty unique. I mean, you're not gonna get two seeds that are the same because it's based on time. And while that comes pretty close, that's not really you know, a true random number generator. True randomness is actually based on physical phenomena. And in fact, that is the second method. By actually sampling some physical value, you can actually come up with a truly random random number. Because, well, it's based on some unpredictable physical phenomena. Examples of this include using the mic to pick up background noise, or moving the mouse randomly, or even, you know, in more complex situations, things like background radiation. And there you have it. That is the complex thought process behind generating random numbers. That's all there is for this episode of Friday Minis. I hope you learned something today, but until next time, you're watching 0612 TV. Hello, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget I appreciate every like, favorite, and comment you give me. If you'd like to see more from me in the future, don't forget to subscribe. For more updates outside of YouTube, do follow my official Twitter account at 0612TV. And if you'd like to see more of my work, you can also check out my About Me page. Once again, thank you very much for watching and until next time, you're watching 0612TV.